Alright guys, welcome back to episode number 24 of Pokemon Sword. Now, back in the last episode, if you guys remember, we went through some more of this game and encountered some new Gigantamax battles. As well as, of course, getting a female Meowth stick into my game, thanks to me getting back to getting an Esper. We're back in this game again to now encounter three new event battles for this episode. And this will include two returning Gigantamax Pokemon that I've never personally caught before. Well, not in this game, but anyway, let's go ahead and get this episode started, shall we? Okay guys, this is voiceover Andre speaking right now, and I want to discuss about the Zora Aura that I'm about to encounter right now. As you can see by this footage, I'm going to use a level 100 Milotic to discuss about this Zora Aura event that has been happening on the, um, the web as of now. According to, um, Serby, with the Zora Aura, um, raid that's been going on, there is a very, very high chance that you can encounter a lot of Zora Auras. But this one, as you can see here, is actually a very rare one that you can encounter. This is a guaranteed square shiny Zora Aura, as you can see, and these ones are actually very rare to find. They only appear 5% of the time in 5-star raid battles, while most of the time they appear within, of course, 5-star and 4-star battles 40 to 35% of the time, depending on the ones that you're looking at. But here's the catch with these Zora Auras. You can't actually catch them. It's actually impossible to try to catch a Zora Aura because they do not have a catch rate according to, Bul to um, Bulbapedia. So since I cannot catch these guys, I sadly cannot get them into my crew. However, even though I already have a Zora Aura currently in my team, there is actually a way to get a shiny Zora Aura, but it requires a little bit of setup. For you to actually get a Zora Aura into your game that is shiny, you're actually forced to beat a million Zora Auras. Obviously, I'm not going to go through the trouble of trying to do that because that would be far too much for me to handle, and having to deal with that on a regular basis would be far too much for me to deal with. So obviously, I'm not going to go through the trouble of trying to do that on my spare time just to get rid of one particular deal, let alone getting damaged by so many things throughout that entire boss fight. So because of that, I'm not risking myself just to get rid of one specific thing, even if it means trying to get rid of one deal just to get a couple of Zora Auras and all that. Now, believe this or not guys, this is actually the very first time that I'm ever facing against a guaranteed shiny because the last game that actually, the last event that actually had guaranteed shinies that you can actually get was with the Magikarp raid that appeared far back five months ago in January. During that event, you can actually catch a guaranteed shiny Magikarp, and they appeared very rarely of the time, but you can actually get one into your crew. But since I was not at that event at the time, I did not get it, obviously. And... Interestingly enough, I actually got this Zora Aura after 40 skip day attempts, and I'm not sure how I was able to do it, but I was able to. So, even though you can't sadly catch it or whatever of that sort, you're, you are at least getting some footage of the actual deal in action. So, I don't know if I'm going to get a guaranteed shiny later on in the series, if that's even going to happen. There may be a chance of that happening, but I can't see that likely happening as of now. Due to the fact that, like I said, this is the first time I'm ever facing against a guaranteed shiny, and since it's at level 100, which is impossible to beat unless you have a ground type with you, it's pretty much that. In any case, though, I do find it to be very cool that you can actually face against a guaranteed shiny, even though I've never fought against one before. Now, I don't know if I'm going to encounter any... Dynamax shinies later on in the game since it is possible for some Dynamax Pokemon to be shiny But that I'm gonna have to see until later Anyway, um Other than that, that there's not that much that I can mention that would really make this any different This is just a little video that a video clip that I want to showcase to you guys So yeah, just a little footage of me encountering this little shiny dude and that's really about it so 
I'll go ahead and resume back to the actual film where we'll have two different event Gigantamax battles and we'll see you back then. So, I'll be right back. Okay, well, now that I've discussed about that Zoroar situation using a voiceover, let's have our actual first Gigantamax battle, which is actually with a Pokemon that we have actually fought against far, far back in the series. It's with the Gigantamax Appleton. Now, these Pokemon were exclusive only to Shield specifically as an exclusive Gigantamax Pokemon. But thanks to the new raids, we can now catch one ourselves thanks to this new raid update. I think this time I want to try to switch things up a bit and actually use a mythical Pokemon for my very first time. Since I've actually never used a mythical Pokemon before up to this point, I want to try to use one for the very first time in the series just to get a feel for, for how it's like. And because of this, I'm going to actually use two different Pokemon for two different specific purposes. And in this case, I want to actually use Mew for this first battle. So, why not test out Mew, hmm? Well, let's give it a shot as we begin our first actual Gigantamax battle. Let's go! Here it is! Gigantamax Appleton! It's been a minute since I last fought this thing back in, you know, that last episode, but since we're now able to face against one ourselves and catch one besides getting a Gigantamax Flapple all that way back, it's time to get ourselves a Gigantamax Appleton. And ironically enough, it's a female, so... You know what? I need to, like... Let's go. Alright, let's go, y'all. Time to do this. Dynamaxing you for the first time. That was kind of a frightening noise, but whatever, man. It's Mew, so what do you expect? I've never personally used Mew before, so... Yeah, because I got one from a train, I can now actually use one in battle this time. I know you can learn a lot of moves except for teleport, except you get a transportable one from a different game. But something tells me that you're probably going to be able to catch a Mew within an event battle later on in the future. I don't know when exactly, but it may happen sometime in July. Maybe. I don't know if there's a chance of that happening regardless, but we're going to have to see. Um, so it could be a little bit pointless because everyone's HP is already, uh, full. G-Max Sweetness? I've never seen this move before. Wow, that really did not make sense. Okay, luckily Magikarp ain't in there because we all know that grass types are weak with water. Okay. Wait, I said it the wrong way! Water types are weak with grass. What am I saying? I don't really think it's that's the case. What are you doing? Oh! Okay, not nearly as much as I thought, but at least it did some damage, so it's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, overall, not too bad. I gotta say, we're not doing too bad. We're actually doing pretty good. I mean, we're taking a little bit of a beating, but it's a three star rate, so of course we're not gonna have too much trouble with this. At least I don't think so, because, you know. Alright, at least Toby be in match card field, so at least that's a good thing. Okay, I'm last it with that guy. Alright, special defense. I actually thought that the Appleton was actually gonna go for Magic Harp again, but stupidly decided to go for everyone else. So I don't know how that works in that kind of context, but I'll take it regardless. There you go! That's how to do it, Mew! Go! Am I glad that this Mew has a Dragon type move? <laughs> okay. I think in terms of the Pokeball I want to use, I'm not entirely sure, because it's been a long, long while since the last time of the raid of it. I think, personally, I'm just going to use one of my regular Pokeballs to make it easier on myself, because I don't want to stress myself and use the wrong thing. That would be far too much to handle. Let's just use a regular Pokeball just for the heck of it. Besides, we have one more Gigantamax battle left after this, and after that we Okay, that's one. That's 
two. That's three. And we got it. I knew we were going to catch it. <laughs> it's a three star raid after all, so what do you expect? It? All right, we got ourselves a Gigantamax Apple Tub. Welcome to the crew, my boy. I know I have a Gigantamax um, Flapple in my crew already, but I don't have a Gigantamax Apple Tub, so I'm glad that I got one. By the way, that machine is loud, by the way, the uh, washer. Uh, we'll call you Godzilla type, just for the heck of it. After all, that's why I need my previous Gigantamax Apple Tub, so there you go. All right, with that battle out of the way, there's one more that I have to tackle. One more. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I just saw my last Gigantamax Pokemon that I'm going to encounter for today. And it's another Gigantamax Pokemon that I actually caught far back in the past, in episode 11 of Pokemon Shield. This was my second Gigantamax Pokemon that I've caught in history on Andre Boy, but also the first in my Shield exclusive game. It's with Gigantamax Lapras again. And, of course, I'm obviously going to take a Pokemon that I think would be personally good for the job, and what better man to do it than with Jirachi, hmm? I personally liked Jirachi a lot as a Pokemon, so I really want to actually test this thing out and see what Jirachi has in store for us. And since his Dynamax level is obviously at the max, might as well use Jirachi for this episode, hmm? Well, let's go ahead and do it. Second mythical Pokemon in history that I'm testing out. Let's go. Here it is. Gigantamax Lapras. I know I brought this thing far back in the past, but this is the first time I'm actually using Jirachi. I've never personally caught Jirachi before. Well, I've never caught Jirachi actually in my whole life. And I've never personally used him before, so. I don't know what Jirachi has in store specifically. I don't think I will use him throughout the rest of the series as a whole, but I think Jirachi's a pretty awesome Pokemon. So let's see if we have what it takes to take out this Gigantamax Lapras and get her on our team, even if it means trying to screw around a little bit. So let's see. Let's go, Jirachi. Let's go for it. Oh boy, looking like he's really ready. Can you believe him? Go for it! Bam! Whoa, sweet damage off the gecko. Hold up! Jirachi's just putting in the work today. Set up electric terrain. Sadly, there's no electric users on the field, but it's whatever. against that one guy that got hit. I couldn't really tell who it was. But it is going to boost the Lapras' water attacks, so we gotta be careful. So we need to make sure to watch out for that. Oh yeah, I did hit Togemi. Alright. Water absorb. Oh! It absorbs the water to oh, okay. Okay. Okay, well sadly it's gonna hit everyone else, but. I mean, I know that was super effective against, uh, that guy back there, but, okay, hold up. I thought you were going to use your G-Max move. You threw me off with that, seriously. I mean, I know I hadn't seen it yet, but, still, you really threw me off with that. Okay, let's try to use Max Overgrowth, because this move, too, is also super effective against Max. Bam! After all, I remember that stupid Gigantamax Charizard using one on my Lapras before, but that happened back in my Shield version, so... I still kind of suck though, nonetheless. You know, I was sitting here thinking that I was going to actually faint Halucha. Apparently it did not. I don't know how, but okay. Whatever, I guess. I actually legit thought that I was going to faint Halucha, but apparently Halucha still survived. Okay, thankfully Togini survived. Sadly, um, I don't know if yeah. Yeah, no which I think must have died. Yeah. Sadly, 
sadly are a speed battle, but no big deal. Thankfully, Jirachi's not affected by it too much, because Jirachi's really high levels in comparison to the other Pokemon, so I don't think it's as bad as it should be. Let's go ahead and use uh, Maximine Storm. Get rid of those last two. There we go. Okay, not bad. Not bad. We could have done a little bit better off the start, but that's okay. If we end up failing, we can always get back into it, so. Okay, that only hits the other two opponents, but that really didn't do anything to, uh, to, uh, to um, no, Wishy Washy. Wishy Washy, if you could use a different move other than your liquidation move, it would be quite useful right about now. speed regardless, but that wouldn't matter considering that we're still higher levels. So. Okay, so I have to change back to normal. Alright, let's try to see if we can do the rest of the work from here. I don't know if we're going to be able to take out Gigantamax Lapras from here because by looking at this situation, I don't think we're going to be able to take care of the rest of the work. And... Even if we do, the, the amount of damage we were doing at the beginning was... Oh, nice! We paralyzed him! Okay. Okay, that might give us an advantage. That might give us an advantage. I don't know if it's going to end up doing anything crazy. Okay, just nullifying our abilities. G-Max Resident! Oh, no. boosted Lapras' defense, didn't it? Oh my god, Palucha! Something is telling me I should have went for the other move instead of just going for, uh, for, uh, which one call it? Max, um, Max, um... Wait, you can heal yourself! Oh, that's messed up. Okay, hold up. Hold up a second, bro. Hold up. I was not a sign of this. How was I supposed to know that she had that move? Let's do this. Wow, that really didn't do anything. Yeah, I think something is telling me that we're going to have to restart this battle. There is no freaking way that we're going to be able to survive this. I mean, we are surviving, but we're barely doing any damage against it, which is not good. Okay, at least that did some damage. Took me, you should have done that earlier when we were down to its last couple shields. Of course it's gonna start healing itself. Oh my god. Well, this is gonna end up taking longer than I expected. Okay then. This is gonna end up taking a lot longer than I thought. It seems like I need to redo this battle again. Yeah, something is really telling me we're gonna have to restart this boss fight again. There's no freaking way that we're gonna be able to defeat it this way. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna have to restart this battle again. There's no way we're gonna be able to defeat it after this. I'm actually surprised that that was unaffected against Token B. I'm not sure what was actually going to, uh, Kill Togepi, but apparently that just did not happen. I don't know how that works in that context, but okay. Okay. Whatever's, I guess. Whatever does anything to try to get rid of this thing with good. Would've been better if you attacked, but still. That is better too, so. Okay, trying to heal itself again. I'm really stuck between Grass Knot or Thunder. I'm not sure which of the two would be best, but let's go with Grass and just hope for the best. Alright, good. Broke the shield. Now we just have to pray that Gigantamax Lapras does not go for an ice move against Halucha. I hope, dear God, that that does not happen. You got me. Okay, at least it's a good thing that, he, um, that she didn't attack us with anything stupid. Woo! This battle 
it was lasting a while. This is probably the longest battle I think I've had in terms of Gigantamax Pokemon because this is just unusual. The amount of time that I've spent going through this battle is just ridiculous. Normally it doesn't last this long. But it's also because this Lapras is trying to heal itself too, which I guess makes some sort of sense because it's getting low on HP, but regardless, the damage it's doing is just ridiculous. BAM! Oh! A large chunk of it took it and paralyzed again! Okay, good thing Tokimi is still healing us. This way it will be easier for us to get rid of it from here. Okay, as long as Lapras goes for another Surf move and then live life do, we're good. I just throw to God that she... Please don't. Okay, good. Good. Okay, that wouldn't, went, that wouldn't matter, considering that we were going to defeat it anyway. Okay, good. Yes! Yes! Okay. Okay, we still have a chance. We still have a chance. Let's try to use one last attack from here. Bam! Oh no, it's gone. It's, it's gone! Bye-bye! Bam! Woo -wee, that was a close battle, man. I would have never pictured a scenario where that could have gone better, but holy cow, that was a close battle. Oh, I'm stuck between the greater or Pokeball. I'm not sure which of the two would be best, but I'm just going to stick with Pokeball. I just hope that God is actually active for the next time Because after that long battle that I just had, I was not going to be able to save it now. Please, Captain, yeah, please. I beg of you, dear God, please. I just hope they're on my side. Okay, that's one. That's two. Oh, come on! Ugh. Darn it! That's okay, though. That's okay. Your boy has a plan. He may have failed to catch it first turn, but I have a plan. I actually discovered this method back in the 11th episode of Pokemon Sword. There is a way to get your Pokemon back, no matter if it's shiny or if it's a Gigantamax Pokemon like you saw earlier in the video. If you press the home button instead of pressing next and close out of the game, and as long as you don't have autosaves on or anything like that, you can actually go back into your raid and try to redo the process again. I actually discovered this method a while back in the um, 11th episode when I failed the Gigantamax Colossal, my first Pokemon that I got Gigantamax um, off screen at the time. I didn't know you can do that until I discovered that. So let me actually get back into the boss battle and meet you guys back. Hold on a second. Okay, we're back to try this again because apparently that first attempt didn't quite go as planned. And even after that long amount of frustration that I had, I still could have catch this super lapis. So let's try to do this again and hopefully this time we'll be able to beat it. Unfortunately, we have Wishy Washy again, but that wouldn't matter too much. But let's just hope we do a little better this time. And the other sad thing is we don't have Togepi this time, so unfortunately what that means is we can't use Togepi anymore, so... This means ultimately we can't really heal as of now, but that would matter too much. I just hope that I beat the Gigantamax Lapras, and hopefully in this attempt, I'll be able to catch it. But if I don't catch it, then I don't know what will happen. So let's try to do this again, and hopefully we'll be able to catch it this time. But that last attempt really sucked, bro. I was really hopeful that I was going to catch this Gigantamax Lapras, and the thing was just like, oh, you ain't catching me today. So we're trying this again. I don't care if he uses Water Absorb if um, Wishy Washy decides to use a Water Attack. All that matters is I need it to defeat this thing and catch it, because it caused enough trouble to this world. It may not be that other Pokemon that we're going to face later on in the series or whatever, but that don't matter. As long as I catch this stupid thing, I'm good, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Alright, Cosmic Power. Which is kind of a good strategy in case um, Lapras does a water move, but I don't know how that would be effective. So, nice guys are speaking of which. Oh! She actually went for me this time, huh? Let's see how it is. Try to switch your battle a little bit. Hmm? Yeah, there's the water resort. I kind of hate it that this Lapras actually has a way to heal itself even if you don't attack it. That really stinks. 
unfortunately everyone else gets hit by it, but that wouldn't really matter too much. I am a little bit worried about, um, what's his name, Halucha, though, because if Halucha gets hit by G-Max Resonance four times in a row or something else happens, we're screwed. So I hope that does not happen. Because that almost happened in the first battle where we had 40 people playing, and then freaking uh, Lapras just ended up just destroying us. So I hope that does not happen again throughout the rest of this battle. I hope that doesn't, because if it does, I'm really going to get upset. And that's it. As soon as I freaking say that I don't want that Gigantamax Lapras to do the thing that I didn't want it to do, it didn't. Just my freaking luck. Okay, well, at least one person fainted, so it's not that bad, but come the heck on, are you serious? Oh my god, Rock. Okay, at least Soul Rock is hacked this time. Normally, Soul Rock doesn't attack too much, but at least this attack, he actually attacks, so. At least that's something to go by. Okay, that's not gonna do that much damage. Where did that was normal damage to Soul Rock? I don't know how that works in that context, but okay. I didn't lower our speed, unfortunately, but I don't think it should be too bad. Sadly, I'm not going to do massive damage after I do this attack, but I guess it shouldn't be too bad, considering that we'll be able to get rid of it from here, so... That wouldn't matter too much. As long as we can get rid of the deal after a couple of attempts, we should be good. I don't want to go crazy and get off the hostile level. You know what I'm saying? So, let's try to do this again. I hope this time I can actually catch this Gigantamax Lapras, because if I can, that would be really sweet right about now. Oh, by the way guys, um, I forgot to actually mention this earlier. Um, the Owl of Armor had just got released for, um, as the new DLC for, um, this game. I'm actually thinking about getting it at some point later in the future if I can get some eShop cards and then see if I can get it from there. I don't know how that's going to turn out for me specifically, but I am hoping that I can grab all the Pokemon that I need for the, um, this game specifically and then get them into this game. Because currently, I'm trying to find in Pokemon Ultra New Person Mythicals that I have missed and try to get them into this game as I, uh, go over in the game. I haven't collected all of them yet as of now, but I'm trying to get them the fastest I can, which is kind of a bit difficult, I must say, because even at this point in the game, it's still a bit difficult to try to get everything that you need, especially if you have, are trying to shiny hunt for certain Pokemon and get them into your game by just, you know, tossing them in there. It's just super difficult to deal with that nonsense. Alright, good, we paralyzed it. Okay. Okay, I hope the same mistake does not happen again. If it does, I'm going to get upset. Because our last attempt really failed when we last tried to do this. Oh my god. I really wish that Wishy-Washy... I mean, Wishy-Washy is a good Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but I kind of wish that Wishy-Washy was not in this specific battle. Because his water attacks are not going to do anything. Like, her water attacks are not going to do anything against this Lapras. And plus, if it's healing itself too, that makes the situation even worse. This. I don't think it would matter if Solrod doesn't attack this turn, because even if he doesn't attack this turn, we'll still be able to take out Lapras out from here, so... Yeah, it wouldn't matter. Even if he attacked, we're still going to take it out from here, so it wouldn't even matter. Wow, that really didn't do anything against... Um, Alucha. I actually thought that was going to do something to Alucha, like do a one-hit KO, but apparently that didn't happen, so you know what? That's better than nothing, I guess. Better than nothing, I guess. Okay, the electric terrain disappeared. But that wouldn't matter too much, considering we're going to take it out of here, so even then it's still going to do a lot of damage, so who am I to judge? BAM! Okay. Hopefully... We'll be able to catch this Gigantamax Lapras this time, because that last attempt didn't quite go as planned, and I just hope that this time I can actually beat it, because that last attempt, like I said, did not go as planned. It really astounds me that I was able to catch that freaking uh, Appleton, but I couldn't... Oh! Hold up! So wrong on the defensive side today! Hold up! I'm not gonna lie, that thunder just scared me. <laughs> oh my 
Dude, that was so perfect timed! I didn't even see that coming! I was just, I was minding my own business in the battle, and then I was just... Okay. Normally I would be upset right now, but that thunder was so perfect timed. I can't get upset about it. That was so perfect timed. That was timed perfectly. I did not expect that. I legit got jump scared by it. BAM! Alright. Let's hope that this time I catch it! Because that last attempt didn't quite go as I thought it was going to be planned, so let's just hope for the best this time. I hope I catch it this time. I hope so. Come on, don't leave me game. Please catch it. Please, for the love of God, catch it, please. I beg of you, please. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. Stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in. Thank you! Got it! Okay, got it, second attempt, second attempt. Okay. Woo, feet. Man, I get to Max Lappers. Why did you have to treat me that way? I mean, I'm happy I caught you, but sheesh, you were like not playing games today. I like what happened last time. Sheesh, man. Let's call you Laprazilla. Just like the one that I named from my previous game. There you go, that's better. Okay, yo, uh, man. That was kind of brutal, but we were still able to beat it, so who am I to judge? <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think I've done enough for this video. I was going to actually try to see if I can catch a Pokemon off screen, but after the events that just happened, I think I'm done. I'll see you guys next time when I come back from the next episode. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. So, until next time, guys, bye.